She then asked me, were you born in this country? And I was immediately offended. And I said, yeah, I was born in this country. And then she says, do you have any kids? I said, no, I don't have any kids. She then asked me if I was married. And then I said, no, ma'am, I am not married. She says, how old are you? I said, 19. May I help you find something? She then says, you are the most beautiful girl I have seen. And I said, oh, thank you. And then she says, I think you could be the next Miss USA. I'm in the Army, OK? We don't do pageants in the Army. She then asked me to meet her at Starbucks the very next day before my next shift at Target. And apparently, I was a pretty open-minded 19-year-old because I actually agreed to meet her the very next day. The next day, she brought this foot-tall stack of pageant books and proceeds to convince me to enter into a state pageant. So, three months later, I compete in my first pageant. And I lose. I go back the second year, compete in the state pageant. I lose. Go back the third year, compete in the state pageant and lose. Go back the fourth year, compete in the same pageant and lose. I go back the fifth year, y'all. <laughs> compete in the state pageant and lose. But guess what? I go back the sixth year, guess what happens? I lose. <laughs> I call her on the phone and said, you told me I could be the next Miss USA. And she says, Deshauna, keep working, keep working. Don't quit, keep going back. And in June of 2015, she passes away from leukemia. Six months later, in December 2015, I win Miss District of Columbia, USA. And six months after that, in June of 2016, I become the first soldier to win Miss USA. At times, our purpose drops in our laps as if the heavens threw it by accident. I ask only one thing of you all today after you leave this building. Do not fear failure, but please be terrified of regret. Giving up is the birth of regret. After you walk out this door, you will receive a hundred doors shut, slammed in your face. You will have a hundred moments that will be filled with someone telling you no, or telling you, Thank you for your application, but we regret to inform you that we've chosen a different candidate for this job. You will sit in a hundred different interviews and you will not get the job. The reality of life is that we will all hear more no's than we hear yeses. And we will fail a lot, and I mean a whole lot. But what I ask of you today is to not take no for an answer. Don't be afraid of no's. Be afraid of the possibility of a yes that you have prematurely destroyed because you decided to quit before the clock strikes 12. I love a good no. Please tell me no. Telling me no is like adding fuel to a fire that is now set ablaze because of your single no. So today I challenge you to fight, to work, to not stop here, to believe so heavily in your aspirations that you too will not fear the word no, but in 